Hello everyone, Rissy Toothpick here, back again with some more Zompiercer. And before we start today, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Your support is greatly appreciated. And I think today we're going to be exploring this new location uh, in this underground tunnel where I think we're actually going to try to do a little bit of some uh, sneak kills with the uh, still dagger. Unless they uh, start moving. Because it looks like they're just going to be chilling in the corners. That guy's probably going to run at us, but hopefully we can kill one or two of these guys. Honestly, like I said in the earlier video, our sneak is at like six or seven. And, I mean, eh, you know what? We might as well beat this guy. And it's been a while since I meleeed people. <laughs> Got hit there. Rookie move. And this seems to be locked. Oh, no, no. It's, uh... Okay. I guess we need a key or something. Sometimes, I was just trying to check, because sometimes the doors, the graphics just don't work. But nah, it looks like it's good. But yeah, I feel like this is a perfect place for us to use our stealth skills and uh, kind of, you know, nicely kind of progress here. Especially if they're just gonna, well, I don't know about this guy, he might see us. Yeah, he did. Unfortunate. Uh, of course, everyone's starting to hear us now. Well, we might as well go with the pistol. Shotgun would probably be better because it's like so closed in. We're pretty good on wood and steel for the most part. Oh, I got lucky there. He almost got me. Almost. But not good enough. Okay, I'm gonna kind of sneak here because I think there's somebody. Okay, there's a runner. Ooh, yep. Yeah. You would like a dagger. And you would like a dagger. I know you would. Hopefully he doesn't turn around here. They like to move at the last minute. And since we are in a dark area, never mind. Doesn't want me to move my stealth. Let me just make sure that's the case here. Yep. So I think stealth is capped or something's wrong with my game where it's not allowing me to improve it any further. Okay, let's see what's going on over here. It sounds like he's like, uh, is after us, but he got stuck by a door. And by door, I mean a very strong... Oh, I, I wasn't expecting you, but thank you for running away. I appreciate it. Come here. I gotta put her down. I don't need her, like, sneaking up behind me. Spitting at me here. Oh, my. Oh, two for one there, too. Killed both of them. Injured one of them, and then the uh, second shot was a perfect shot on the one that was that had full health, and it uh, killed the one that uh, got injured. Okay, but let's kind of explore that uh, yellow door, or the sealed room, just to kind of see what they got in here. Good ammo. So pretty much, I guess we can expect to find ammunition in the lockers, yep. We'll take ammo. You can never have too much ammo. Uh, health is good. We'll just leave that first aid kit. Waste too much to be carrying around anyways. We will take the painkillers though, because they're pretty light. And... We'll eat those chips. Oh, now you got, you got red ones, huh? Okay, take that. See, I don't want to take the uh, the rifle ammo because we haven't gotten it yet, and I have so much of it like in the base or in the terrain. It's like crazy. There's like no point. At least as of you know right now. Okay, and that takes us downstairs. Makes me feel like that's progression. You know, probably got to go like further down. So I kind of want to check this out. 
And I am so glad we built the uh, the helmet with the flashlight in the last one because let me tell you, if we didn't have it, we would have some trouble in here, or it would be a lot more difficult than what it really is now. Okay, that seems like an important room, but I hear a zombie stumbling around. Oh, what the hell? How did she see me so well? Yep, just run away. Like, she noticed me from afar. Like, I guess she was, like, maybe hidden, like, right there by the door or the wall or something. Like, look at her. She's not even, like, coming at us. And I know she's going to try to, like, shoot at us again here. Don't want to run in here, but I, I need to kill her. Oh, somebody's on me, but that's all right. Run away. Runner? Yep. I'll say. Go crazy on him. Waste opens the shotgun shells. Why not? I don't know how she saw me. I guess just her being right there. Okay, we got a note here. Urgent message from Lewis. A group of linemen accidentally picked up the keys to the south entrance to the tunnels and still haven't returned. Please send someone from the guard to the flooded living room. Duplicate keys were stored in one of the lockers. And I'm assuming the flooded living room is downstairs. Because I feel like if there was going to be a flooded area, uh, that would be the place. Yeah, well, he doesn't see us. We'll put him down. Conserve the uh, large amount of ammunition that we already have. Okay, we don't need to press anything here. There is a tunnel. It's pretty much telling us where we need to go. Not very important, because I'm pretty sure we're going to get stuck here pretty soon. Okay. We'll explore after we kill everyone. Oh yeah, this makes it real easy. <laughs> I completely missed him, but he didn't hear anything. He's just looking at the wall like, hmm. Got quite windy. But don't worry, I won't turn around. Alright. Shotgun shells we'll take. And we'll, you know what, we'll take both of those. We are getting a little low on food and water, water in particular. We'll just raise that one back up. That's the only thing I worry about. I didn't really bring a lot of food and water with me, so... We'll have to watch it, but it's looking pretty fine right now. And I'm pretty sure we'll probably find a area with a good amount of food and water. Especially since this was like a, a base, you would assume that they had a storage room somewhere. You know, you can't live off of dirt and rock. Ooh, that was close. And I also like, like during the this newest update, I've realized that the zombies are a lot more buggy when it comes to like uh, going through walls. Like I've seen one like just walk through a fence and that that has worried me just a little bit. Ooh. Oh, the damn right show guy. Oh wait, hold on. I know he's after us, but we gotta kill this girl. Like we don't need a spitter going after us. And he actually didn't see us. We're gonna let him beat on that door. He might actually break it. I'm not for sure if it has any durability or not. I'm gonna say, because I have seen him break some metal doors. I did not see him. I don't know if he just like spawned in after I looked that way or he was just blending in. Yeah, we'll take the tuna. Oh. Yeah, I gotta take that. That's a rare, it's a rare item for me. Say, it's giving us some items here. Yeah, I'm already hurting my inventory. We'll take those beans though. That's good. And just kind of help us out here. We'll eat the low, the lower uh, food items. Okay, someone's pissed off. 
that's for sure. Oh god, okay. Let's see if we can get her. She's the most important one to hit. Oh, of course, of course not. Shotgun, all the way. Damn, our health is getting torn up from it, though. Alright, let's start killing. I just need to, like, protect myself here. Okay, she's still not coming, though. I'll take some pain killers. And you know what? I think we can sneak up on this guy now. He's looking the other way. Of course, he's going to start moving right when we start to sneak. But it'll be alright. I got gotcha. you. See you in the afterlife. Okay, that door works. And it looks like they can't break down these doors, or they've been working on it for a good while. That's nasty, though. Yeah, get the hell out of here. That was dirty just because she was just waiting there. Just right, right around that corner. Of course, he probably like planned that out, the game developer. It's like the same with that one girl that uh shot the spit at me. I hate you too. But yeah, like we're you know we took the painkillers. And we're still doing relatively good. I mean we are you know at 20. But we're still, like, you know, healing up. Man, there's quite a bit of zombies over there, though. I'll say we'll just take it easy, and plus we have, like, 400 rounds for the pistol. We definitely gotta waste some here. Okay, so he's attacking that. I don't think we can one-shot him with the dagger. Ooh, but we can one-shot her with the dagger. That's what I would love to do. You know what, we will try it on him. Yeah. He does know we're here, but... Since he's just, like, stuck there... We'll just put him down. And that's unfortunate. I'll just put him down. There's no way we were able to sneak kill him there. Sneak attack. With that I'm seeing us, or we would have to wait for him. That takes us downstairs. I kind of want to wait there. I'll say there's been some really good items in here. Problem is this shit weighs a lot. And I've been greedy. I'm not gonna lie. We use those bandages to kind of get them out of the way. We don't want them. Save some space for some more items. But yeah, it's because like the the rare items that I need to kind of like stockpile on is like car batteries, the car parts. Um, I think there's like floor mats or something, and the uh, electrical parts and computers. That one's locked, unfortunately. Oh, I forgot about you. The game glitched just for a second, but I was able to kill her. Let's see what we got in here. Yeah, sometimes they get stuck on the doors, which is, you know, convenient for the player, but not for them, especially convenient for us when there's, like, a guy with right shields. Ooh, he tricked me. He tricked me, all right. Question is, is who's waiting behind that door? Oh my! Uh, quite a bit of runners and a big guy. Okay, he's done. And then the scrawny little zombie, waiting for his turn to perish. Okay, now we're in here. Missed him completely. I'll say, get closer, Risky. Come on now. 
I doubt there's any zombies in here now, because there was quite a bit of them. Nope, never mind. There's still zombies in here, but this is a larger room. I feel like this is a very important room. And the perfect place for us to kind of get some silent kills in here. Let's see if this will work out. It's not. <laughs> Simple as that. I just don't want the girl to see us. She did. Did I hit her? Can't really tell. Probably gonna have to go with the shotgun here. Okay, I see her now. I don't know why she tries to run away, I guess. Oh shit. Snuck up behind me. Is she coming? Let's put her down. Let's just be quick about it. Okay, there's another one. Ooh, two of them. Ooh, dirty. It's alright, we got him. It was aggressive, but it definitely helps us thin out the crowd. I'll say I'm in the game now after taking that damage. Oh, God damn it. Not paying attention. I would miss. Alright, let's see. Is there anything of value? Nope. We need water. Getting low on water, actually. Not a good thing. Because I doubt there's going to be water in these boxes. We're going to have to check the... Uh... There's the big end. Okay, let's make sure we don't get stuck here. Somebody else do. It's like someone in this corner, I think. Yeah, he's coming. Oh, right, shield, huh? Perfect shot. Kinda. Not quite, but almost there. It's great when you get that, like, one shot. We're good on pistol rounds. Oh, grenade might be good. We can also put a little bit of ammo in our main uh, bar up there, because it will devoid or avoid uh, the uh, weight. The weight won't exist if it's in there. Another big one. I mean, we might as well use the grenade. Just throw that there. Oh, that was a. Oh, we shot his. Or we blew his whole arm off. Leveled up. Let's see. Still can't do stealth. Might as well get stamina. Love the stamina. Might go a little bit in health here, though. Okay, we've got food. We want that. Eh, good on ammo. I don't really want to pick it up. Is there someone in here? Dude, he's just like chilling there. Making like no noise. Just waiting on me. He was like... The hunter and I was the prey. Just, you know, waiting in the silence in the corner while his brethren died and got, like, gnawed on by me, blown up to smithereens. Just abiding his time. See, that's why zombies infect people, you know? You think they're, like, unintelligent, and then all of a sudden, there's that one zombie who's just like, you know what? I'm not gonna run out there. I'm actually gonna wait. And then he gnaws on you. Okay. We're gonna need a little bit of, uh... Some more medicine. But like I said before, we're probably close to a... First aid pack. I mean, in fact, there was one earlier on in the, in the area. Once we find one of those, we'll be good on health. And plus, I've been kind of slacking on gameplay here. Been, you know, being too risky. Especially when it mattered. 
I'm just worried about our water situation. You know, there's so much water, but it weighs, and you're just like, eh, I'll just leave it in the train. Okay, let's check if this door opens or closes. Closed. One way to go. But yeah, those don't have anything. Only way is down. Oh, this is the flooded area, so the keys should be in here. And it looks like it's having an issue spawning in the zombies, so we need to definitely take it slow. Because if we run in here, that will happen where they'll just spawn in like right in front of us. Looks like it's just in this room. There's the spitter. Oh, okay, we can try to get a little kill on the, the big guy, maybe? Try it out? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. At least we know. Yeah, the only good thing about that grenade is it would definitely have pissed somebody off if they were close by. Get the shotgun shells, the keys that we need for one of the doors. We're good there. Might as well progress. It looks like it's bringing us back up top. Possible new weapon, hopefully. Shotgun right in here because it's close quarters. And that's why you bring the shotgun, ladies and gentlemen. I'll say I played enough horror games. I know how they love to put people right around the corners. And this is actually where we came from. Ooh, somebody actually destroyed that. We will definitely check that, but I want to get some water. Oh, God. Let's say it got real dark real quick. Okay, let's just shift, click. We'll take four for now. I'm definitely going to drink some. And then we'll work on our inventory too. Put some stuff away. Like, we're really good on food. We got three beans. That's 90 right there. We'll drink one more water and then we'll take some with us. Yep, I'm going to start having to get some more resources there when, when it comes to food. Uh, where do I put my rare tools? Right here. Okay. Starting to remember. That there. We, we definitely can, uh, if we find a river, we can definitely get a lot of water here. The key we need. And we can put the ammo. Like, look at that. 405 rifle rounds. I'm just waiting. I put all the fancy stuff in there and let's go check that last room before we make a journey back they're kind of surprised it took us in a whole big old circle here to be honest and there's definitely some people waiting for us here okay the stealthy assassin oh you bastard Yep, everyone just come on in. Where's the spitter? Come on, come on. It was worth it. That's all I'll say. The damage was worth it. Man. Just like, you know, receiving and taking blows. Very unfortunate. And of course, more food. Okay, we will take that. I'm not gonna take those parts. I know we need them, but they're just way so much. I dropped it on the ground. That's a problem. Like once you start like resource gathering, you can't like progress because you have to stop, go back, or drop things. So you gotta like fill up your inventory with like food and water. And it looks like we're gonna get some water here. Who's here? Wow. This is a nasty room. 
Like you got a runner there, two biggins, the spitter. Definitely want to kill her. Everyone else you just kind of have to avoid. He's like, I don't know, see me or something. We're going to throw a grenade at him. <laughs> you can have that. Oh, wow. He's actually not drawled. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're in trouble. Yep. Wow. That was nasty. Yep. I was trying to be too uh, smart there. Okay, uh, what's the most earliest one here? 117, 6, 26, 2020. Yep. Let's load it. Oh, I was uh, just trying to be a little too aggressive there and it uh, bit me in the butt. Oh no. We have to do everything all over again. Well, you know what? It's almost 30 minutes. We're going to stop here today. What I'm going to do is probably clear out all this all over again. And then, you know, in the next episode, we'll start where that whore is just waiting to gnaw on us. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the pa or Patreon. Don't even have that. Check out the uh, Discord down below and whatnot. And I'll see y'all again in the next one.